Hi, and welcome to the 2019 paper two. This is question four on the Leave and Start Ordinary Level. As usual, if you want the set of notes that we're working off, just give me an email at shanetroy at gmail.com. I'll email you all the exam papers off. The email address should be in the description below. So this here is question four. So on first look, it is uh, it's either geometry, and it's a circle. Okay, I see coordinates written here. So it's most likely coordinate geometry. And they say the circle C is enclosed in a square uh, P, Q, R, and S. The circle is being touched on all four sides. You can see there the diagram. The coordinates of three of the vertices are given. I'm giving you to you on the diagram as well. And they're the same. We are asked to find Q. Okay, so uh, this is a square. So the this point moving this distance by translation is going to be the same as this point moving this way. Or I suppose you could go you could go that way. Okay. Uh, it'll be equally as valid. So in the answer here, I forget which way I've done it. So I've gone from okay, S as far as R. Okay, so it's moved from minus four as far as plus four. So that's a uh, plus eight of a difference. And the Y value is moving from eleven to seventeen. That's plus six for difference. So our other point P should move in the same. So two moves on. That'll give you eight. It'll be ten. Okay. And the three will move on six units. Six and three will give you the nine I have here. And that's it. Just translation. So fairly handy if you can do translation. Um, but you remember how to do it. Be tricky. So part. B here says, find the coordinates of the center of C. If you think about it, okay, the center of C is somewhere in here. If you think about it, okay, the diagonal, probably, I could get this and this point and get the midpoint of them. Yeah, that would do it. Or use R and P and get the midpoint. Um, now, would you? Could do get the midpoint of this, midpoint of this, and then get the midpoint of them, but that would be a lot of extra work. So I'll see which way I did it here. So it's a midpoint. I've got S, I've got Q. Okay, so we've got the points. I've labeled them, substitute the values in for the appropriate places in the formula, and then simplify it down. And I end up getting the point 310. If you think about it, okay, that would make sense. It's halfway between four and two which is three, halfway between 17 and three, which is well, 10. Or from this perspective, you can do the same thing. So it seems legit, that's part B. Now part C says find the length of the radius. So I've screen printed or screen grabbed the formula from the math tables. So you either have this memorized or you just retrieve it from the math tables. And I suppose I've written the formula out, okay, have my points written out and label between them. Now it's worth pointing out if we go back to the diagram. Uh, you're looking for the radius here. Okay, so the radius of C would not be the halfway point between, if you got the full length of this and halved it, that wouldn't be the radius. So you basically need to get the midpoint here. And let's see what I did. So minus four, 11, and two, three. Should have got them there. Actually, if, okay, right. Apologies for the brain fart. That length there is the same as the length here. Half that length okay, is the radius. From there to there, whatever. So basically, just using those two points, minus 4, 11, 2, 3. Label them, okay, x1, y1, x2, y2. Substitute them into the uh, equation. Just be careful to make sure you substitute any negative values in, in brackets. Put to the uh, calculator. I did. I broke it down by hand here, but I, I could go straight to the calculator. Go straight down to ten. That's the diameter. Have the diameter to get the radius. Okay, and it's five units. Making sure to put the word units in just to make sure, be sure I have it in there. Now, even though I'm not giving a unit in the question. So part D then says find the equation of the circle. Now the formula for the equation of the circle is given to you the mass tables. Here it is. Now H and K are stand for the center. Okay. Uh, so the center we identified earlier as 310. Okay, so that was literally back uh, here. 
So I have the center, I have the radius. Okay, I have everything I need to plug into the formula. Um, so put it in and put it in. Now be careful if they were negative numbers, to change the sign on them. And the five radius is, is the five and that has to be squared. Now you'll, you won't get full marks this question unless you expand out the five for some reason. Um, so five squared is the same thing as 25. Um, so make sure you do fully complete that. You don't need to expand the left side um, because you can, but it, it won't help you okay, get any more marks. So that's D and that's question four. Okay, so thanks very much and see you on question five.